Hi everyone, this is Paula with Grey Matters Blog again, here to bring you another Support Local PH feature for the month of March. So all the products you see in front of me are from Eris Creates Design and Papari. She is a local artist who creates her designs from her own sketchbooks and canvas. So I'm super excited to be bringing you this product line. Um, she sent me almost one of everything that she makes. All of these products are for art and sustainability. On her website it says they're all unique, echo chic, and handmade paper goodness. So that's a lot of the things that we love here at Grey Matters and I'm super excited to be sharing these with all of you today. So a quick overview, overview of what we have in front of us. Um, these are Hobonichi covers. These two are um, both traveler's notebooks. This is a paper wallet, and then these are just refills that she sent me for the Traveler's Notebooks, which I'm really grateful for. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is these um, Hobonichi covers. So they come in two sizes, because the Hobonichi actually comes in two sizes. This one is the A5 for the cousin. This one is an A6 or for the Hobonichi Techo. So currently, I'm actually using this A5 sized Hobonichi cover for my current Hobonichi. This is in the style of Camello. It's a gutsy cover, which is what she calls um, the, the, I guess her, her art line, which I really like. Um, this is made of plant fibers, abaca fibers if I'm not mistaken, and they come in different colors. So this is what it looks like from the outside. It's just got stitching on the back and front plain, no design. I'm trying to get that centered for you. Okay, so then when you flip it open to the inside, you can see I have some stuff in here. I have like this bookmark and then a ruler that I usually stuff in here. It's got a sleeve where the cover goes. And then in the back, it's the same thing. I also have some things that I slip into the sleeve over here. It's a very snug fit, which I like. Um, and it houses my Hobonichi comfortably. You can see that my spine is flush to the back of the cover um, that there is no overhang because there's a little bit of a margin here which I like because it protects the edges and that there's enough room for me to still slip some stuff in one thing that I really like about this material that she uses the gutsy material the abaca plant fibers is that it's very lightweight but it's as hardy as leather so I've been using this for about um, let's say maybe two weeks now and there's barely any patina. You can see a little bit of the patina from me carrying it in my bag with the graphite staining here. Um, but it's not really been ruined by being stuffed into my backpack. It hasn't been scratched. It hasn't torn at all. And you would think that something made of plant fibers would be a little bit weaker, but this is as strong as stuff. So... This is a Hobonichi A6 cover. We'll put this one aside. I actually don't have a Techo. I did have a Techo, but I don't anymore. So what I'm using this for is actually I'm housing some of my pocket notebooks in it, which I really like. So in here currently I have a gold field pocket notebook by Wright notepads um, and it ha it's basically the same thing as the A5 except it has these elastics in the center. So you can see it has four elastics, which is cool, but it also has the two sleeves here. And then this one has an elastic closure. Again, super lightweight, super durable, really happy with it so far. I use this to do some calorie counting and use it as a food diary as well. Next up, we have this really cute paper wallet. It's a long wallet, Let's see? And it is in the design El Nido Red. So I'm just gonna show you how to use this. I have a her information card in here. For the paper wallet. Um, basically it has one long folder right here. So this is I guess where you put your bills. And then we have six or no four card slots. I'm sorry. So we have one down here, one here, and then this up here, these two. So it's actually a really simple wallet. It also feels very durable just like the Hobonichi covers. It's the same fabric, same material. And I love the color and I really like the added pattern to this design. Really, really chic, really elegant. So something I'm definitely looking forward to using once um, you know summer hits and I can get out of my junky wallet. Next up, I'm going to be reviewing these two traveler's notebooks. So I kept the little information here 
So these are the Gutsy Art Dory Traveler's Notebooks, Art and Sustainability. So the product was joyfully created using abaca and originally treated to make it tear resistant and um, strong as thin leather but lightweight as paper. And let me tell you, that's super true. It's alternative to animal leather, so her products are actually 100% vegan. And by buying this product, you are supporting her as an artist, but also a team of handmade artisans in Mindanao, which I think is great. So we're definitely supporting local here. Um, let me show you these two notebooks. So this is the You Are Loved design. And this one over here is the Nero design in A6. So you can see that they're different colors. This is actually the standard Midori size. I can show you a comparison with my actual Midori. So here is that comparison. My olive Midori is just a little overstuffed right now, which is why it looks so large. But when I put them on top of each other, they're actually the same exact size. So for you people out there who want to try a Midori and don't yet have the funds, you can definitely pick one of these up because let me tell you, my Midori is really heavy because of the leather and this feels like I could throw it in a bag and forget that it was in there. So I'm really excited to give this one a shot. All right, so I'll put that Midori aside. We have an A6 and again a standard size. So the cool thing about these is that they have an elastic closure like a regular traveler's notebook. This one has the new and improved Gutsy Spine. So that's made of the same material that um, the previous products were made out of, which I really like. I actually really like the color on this. I love the design. Look at how cute she is. And then at the bottom, you can see the You Are Loved with a little bit of like a doily pattern here, which I really like. On the back, we have like some sketches of birds, continuation of the doily pattern. I think she really brings the design together really well from an aesthetic perspective. And then of course at the bottom in tiny print, you have her little shop mark, which I love. So same thing here with the A6, it's plain cover. These are actually also available internationally with just the cover, but here locally, you can buy them with the inserts. So she included two blank inserts for me Wow, these are actually really thick, really cool. And they're made of a really nice ivory white paper. I'm going to be doing a pen test for you in a minute in our bigger traveler's notebook. But this is the A6 Nero color in um, the Gutsy Art Dory. So I'll close that up and we'll put this aside. All right, so let's do a pen test. So when you open this up, you have another sleeve, you have elastics in the middle, another sleeve, and we got two inserts in here, but it says on the website that you can fit up to four inserts in here, so I love that. I also like that I think she keeps in mind that these are made really for artists because the paper is luscious. It's a thick 120 GSM ivory paper, absolutely stunning, very smooth. So I'm really excited to show you guys how this works. Um, we're gonna be pen testing with a couple of my favorite things over here. So I have a Uniball retractable jet stream in fine point, that's a ballpoint pen. We have a Sarasa clip in 0.4 because I could not find my 0.3. We have a gray mild liner, shut this for now because it's distracting. And then we have a mini so kind of flare pen here. These are three for 99 pesos, which super affordable. I got this one as a gift. And then finally we have a Pigma brush pen. I don't know if you can really see that. Pigma brush pen. So this is the Sakura brush pen, Pigma brush pen. And then over here we have a Prismacolor Premier brush tip marker in B. So I'm just gonna do a quick doodle for all of you. And by doodle, I mean write something so that we can give this a quick pen test. Really, really cool. So we'll skip the first page. I have a problem with writing on the first page in my notebooks, I don't know why. So first we're gonna start off with the ballpoint pen here. Oops, a little short. And then we'll go on to the Sarasa clip. So, as I'm writing, once again, it's hard for me to talk and write, but as I'm writing, I'm really finding that the paper is really smooth. It responds to my pens really well. I really like that. So now we'll just do a quick do a little of this. I just, I'm gonna do some really, 
that's nice. And then with the brush pen, so here's the Sakura. Mine is obviously running out of ink. Here is our Prismacolor. Put those, ooh, that one is nice. I'm still like a super immature, amateur brush penist, so here we go. And then we got this Sakura Gray, which I love. This is actually currently what I'm using in my Hobonichi because I really like it. All right, so there we have our pen test. I'm gonna zoom it in for you guys so that you can see. So on the top we have the ballpoint followed by the gel pen. So this is the gel pen. Then over here we have the um, mini sew marker. Over here next to it we have the mild liner. Then down here is the Sakura brush pen and over here is the Prismacolor brush pen. So you can see that there's absolutely no feathering and that's amazing. The paper really takes in the ink quite well. Then when we turn the page, there's like no bleeding and no ghosting. Even the highlighter, you can barely tell that it's there. I really have to look for it. So that's amazing. So I really, really love this paper. It's actually really smooth. It was effortless for me to write on, especially with the ballpoint. So even if you're not an artist and you wanted something like this, I think you should totally go for it because you could use this kind of notebook as a journal because it's such a delight to write on. I mean, I feel like I could write on this paper forever. And the other nice thing about it is that if you're um, a journaler, this is like a super thick notebook. So you have, because of the 120 GSM, you have a lot of pages to write on too. Um, and it's really nice. It's got 32 sheets, so that's about 64 pages at 120 GSM. That's a really good deal. And I think because of the quality of the paper, looking at both of these notebooks now and the refills, um, you could definitely use different medium on them. So I used, you saw that I used brush pens, a pen, and a gel pen. But I think that if you were an artist that was interested in sketching or doing watercolor or painting, that could be something that you do. And I think that Eris creates these in mind um, with, with those artists in mind. So anyway, that is this month's Support Local PH. Thank you so much, Eris Creates. I am really excited to have worked with you and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So this is Paula again with On Gray Matters and I will be talking to you soon. Bye!